Rome After his arrival in Rome, Pier Paolo Pasolini, the Italian film director, poet and intellectual, moved west of the Tiber, to the rapidly growing Monteverdi neighborhood. His time there, from 1954 to 1963, coincided with an important phase in his celebrity and notoriety from the publication in 1955 of his provocative first novel, Ragazzi di Vita, to his initial forays in cinema as a scriptwriter and a director with 1961's Accadone, about a lowlife pimp. Pasolini eventually left the neighborhood, and met a violent and still baffling death on November 2, 1975 but more than 40 years later, his memory in this town lives on through the disparate efforts of local residents. Pasolini is part of Monteverdi's identity, said Luciana Capitolo, a retired high school teacher who has published a book about the artist's life in the quarter. The neighborhood, she explained, has two souls, bourgeois and working class, that reflect a dichotomy that Pasolini felt strongly. His bourgeois upbringing, she said, gave him culture, but that he despised, and then there is the working class, and the ragazzi di vita, the hard scrabble life he mined for his early neorealist novels and films. Ragazzi di vita, which was condemned as obscene, was published a year after Pasolini moved to Monteverdi. The most recent English translation by Anne Goldstein, Elena Ferranti's translator changed the title to The Street Kids. The first two chapters are set against the background of the so-called skyscrapers of Valladona Olympia. These are three enormous public housing apartment complexes built in 1932, 1938 and 1951, for people evicted by the fascist building schemes in central Rome, as well as those left homeless by the war. There are still around 1,000 families who live in the cramped quarters. Pasolini lived within walking distance of the projects for five years, and spent hours playing soccer with the rough and tumble boys who lived there. I'd blow the ball up with air from the tires of the trucks that delivered wine, recalled Luciano Napoleone, known to all as Sipacchetto, the only local boy who had a ball. Silvio Parello, now 74, was 12 at the time. He remembers those soccer games in what was then a scraggly field in the midst of vegetable gardens and dirt roads, and is today a school crammed in by apartment buildings. When Pier Paolo was here, we all knew him, he was one of us, Mr. Parello said he did what we did. He came and he studied us. Mr. Parello appears in the second chapter of Ragazzi di Vita as E.R. Pasetto, one of a group of boys who swims in the Tiber. The nickname comes from Peace, the tar that Mr. Parallo's father, a shoemaker, used to fix soles. He has taken that citation and spun it into a full-time passion, creating a shrine of sorts to the director in his painting studio on the ground floor of one of the skyscrapers. Now retired, Mr. Parello spends his days painting and writing poetry. He has written more than 200 poems about Pasolini and his life in Monteverdi, and has memorized around 40 poems by his idol, which he declaims at the drop of a hat. Together with Carlo Conti, another local, he even wrote a poetical musical voyage honoring Pasolini and the late Roman minstrel Alvaro Amici, who died in 2003.